Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, today as you can see I'm going to be working on Peter Rabbit. Somebody asked me if I finished this and the answer is no. So we're getting close. I got two more color no three more colors up here in his her head and the front of her apron which will be fun and today we're going to be working on the dirt the ground whatever it is there but just a little more to do and then I can do all the back stitching oh won't that be precious and fun huh oh my goodness yeah yeah, somebody asked me if I'd finished it, and I just want them to know that that's a no. But we're getting close, closer. So I stitched on this a little bit last night. Oh, itch, itch, itch. <sighs> I'm telling you. Just kind of seems never ending. So I hope you all had a great weekend. I kind of did not too much. I ran up and down the road a couple of times, but like, like yesterday I went to the store and picked up some more um, canned cat food and cat litter and picked up, um, what do you call it, Stouffer's lasagna. So it was like, it says the larger size. So I just ate about that much of it. And so I can have that when I come home on Tuesday and Wednesday night. And uh, I won't have to cook. Of course, I still got brats in there, too. So, you know. Six and one half dozen of another. So I had that with uh, garlic toast last night because I got some garlic toast. I buy it in the box and it's got like six or eight pieces in it. I really like the one where it's in a foil wrapper and it's fresh and all that. But I can't eat up all that. So I just get the frozen kind. I think it says something like Texas toast with garlic and butter. They also have it with some kind of like mozzarella cheese or three cheeses sometimes but yeah I just get the plain garlic toast so yeah I've had my share of shall we say cheesy bread I used to work for the hut and anybody that knows anything will know exactly what I'm talking about and so yeah I kind of overdid it with the uh, what do you call it the bread sticks, you know, with cheese and lots of marinara sauce. Mm. Nope. I'm kind of done with anything bread with cheese in it. So. Yeah. Fun times. Oh, what a nightmare days those were. I swear I was working 10 hour days, 7 days a week, so. Yeah, we're not going back to that. Not ever. Thank you. Done. Couldn't see where I was supposed to put the needle there. Holy cow. And it's kind of a light pink. So it's even harder. It just all meld, melds together. But I thought we'd work a little bit on this ground since that seems to be the biggest space that needs to be finished. Yeah. And I won't probably not start the back stitching until I'm pretty close to finish on this but because just because I don't want it to get like snagged on anything 
for any reason. Yeah. No thanks. So what's everybody else up to? Got big plans for this week? I know I don't. Just work, and I'll have to work an extra day because I told you I have to work on Sunday. Not Sunday, back up, Laura. Saturday. Because the girl I'm filling in for, her son is getting married. So, yeah. So her and the boss and, of course, all the girl that I'm filling in for, his family is going. He's got two brothers. I think, I believe they're all in the wedding. So, yeah. Fun times. And I did have the option to take Wednesday off. So, I don't know yet or not. But I, I kind of think no. Because the girl that would have to fill in for me is the one that is having off on Saturday. And I'm sure they've got a few last minute details to arrive at. The last thing she needs to do is work for me, so we'll take the one for the team and just just do it. It's not bad. It's it's okay. At least I'll have Sunday off. So we'll see. I don't know why they want you to put that color. Oh, well, I guess it is darker than I thought it was. I thought it was lighter. And I'm like, it's just going to meld into the background. But it's darker than it looked. So when I took it off that, you know, thread card, it pretty light. So. Yay. Other than that, just not really a whole bunch going on yesterday afternoon. And it's been doing this for, what, two, three days? Just looking like it's just going to pour, and it didn't do a thing. It was cloudy all day long. I mean, all afternoon long, I should say. It starts in about 1 o'clock, and nothing. I might have had five sprinkles on my windshield when I went to town to go get that lasagna and stuff but and it was cooler you know so it's been cooler since it's looking like it's raining it's not been so terribly terribly hot thank goodness I like that part oh come on it just always gets one thread there come on I'm wearing my thimble only because I don't want to jam it into my hand. Again, not hand, but my finger. I did that a few times yesterday when I was working up there on this. Okay, there's something definitely wrong with that story. What in the world? Okay. When in doubt, cut it out. It's not like we don't have any extra of that thread. I think I went over two. I mean, two whole squares. I've been stitching on 11 count for 
Oh, two or three days. So, finding these little holes is just a piece of work. I'm trying to figure out where to go here. I forgot I had a loop. And yes, I tie knots in my threads. Because I really don't care about the back. Not, nope. Now, usually when I frame something, I put, um, what do you call it? Oh, we, I've got fiber fill, but I just try to make like a little cushion behind it so it's not laying flat and tight in a, uh, in a, um, in a frame so that any of the knots are not going to extend it anywhere so but I have um, also some of that I don't know they used to call it I think pure and natural I want to say that the the cotton it's like a sheet if you will and but it's like anywhere from an eighth to a quarter inch thick that you can put in quilts and it's all one sheet instead of that fuzzy fiber filled stuff that when you wash something it just shifts in the quilt especially if you don't quilt it totally down but I have some of that so I can use that or I can use fiber fill and since it's such a small picture that might be what I use Other than that, I really just, I don't care about my back. Except for when I'm doing counted cross stitch, and I do it on this too. I don't go across here with other, with threads. That That's about as fussy as this girl gets. Life is too short. So, I'm in the land of good enough. But I really would like to finish it. It's not like it's a huge, ginormous picture here. getting there. It's just kind of taking forever here. I can't believe it's Tuesday tomorrow already. Just seems like I did a floss tube. Holy cow. I just feel like I'm in a, a deep fog and life just keeps going on and on. Oh, now it's Sunday. Now it's Monday, you know. Wow, we're back to Tuesday. You know, I don't know how we arrived here. I really don't. It's like, what the heck? But those four days off, I swear they go a lot faster than the three days that I got to work. So, oh well. At least they're going faster. The days at work are going faster because there's, you know, people coming and going and coming and going. So, that part's faster than in the winter, because in the winter it just sucks. Days just drag on. I, by the time I get done at night, I feel like I've been there for about mm, 48 hours. It's just absolutely horrible. This kind of looks like a dirty thread just kind of, I mean, I know it's supposed to be like dirt, but look how it just kind of goes right into there. So I'm assuming that there is a little bit of um, back stitching for like his feet. Oh, I don't have it where I can see it. No, kind of. Kind of, sort of. 
I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. They sort of made an attempt at feet. Holy cow. <sighs> but it is cute, and it's not a difficult pattern at all. I mean, it's just straight cross-stitching and just a bit of back-stitching. It's not insane. <clears throat> so, we'll see. Red sure goes for a longer period of time, doesn't it? On uh, 14 count. Just, I go through thread like crazy on 11 count. I don't know. I realize all the squares are a little bit smaller here in the 14 count, but I don't know. Still got their little heads to do. needle right there. Put that over there in my pin cushion before I knock it off on the floor. I don't end up doing that too much. At least they don't roll on this because this is that oh that shelf liner stuff. So it, it things stay pretty much put. And I like that. Didn't do a whole lot of stitching yesterday. I don't know if I wasn't in the mood or, or what. I sure did enough on Thursday and Friday and Saturday though. I'm making quite the progress with uh, rabbits in winter. About got one rabbit done, except for the, what do you call them, confettied parts. And some of them have like six, eight different stitches, or symbols, not stitches. They are not stitches, they're symbols. Let's not confuse the whole world out there. So as I use those, that particular symbol's color, I'll just go down there and fill it in. Did get to watch Nicola, and I watched Saltbox Stitcher, Carol. yesterday but yeah didn't watch a lot of YouTube or, or floss tube as it might have been come on everybody really this thing is so tiny after holding on to those big canvases, it's kind of a shock here to the system. Oh well, at least I only have to work till 3 o'clock today. That is an absolute plus.
Couldn't get hold of the needle. I need you. And I have no idea where I went. There we go. Come on. Sometimes when I know I cannot get it into the needle again, I just tie it off about three, sometimes four times, depending on how much actual thread I have, and then just, oh, I'm using my best scissors, aren't I? Trim it off. That over there. Alright guys, I know it doesn't look like much, but we went from all the way over there, all the way there. Alright, well thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye bye. Keep stitching.